predator, prey. After a night of partying with his buddies, Billy was ready to head home. Are you sure you want to walk home by yourself? asked Todd. You've heard the rumors, right? What rumors? asked Billy. You know the problem with vampires? He said the last word in almost a whisper. Oh God, really? I can't believe you're taking that seriously. Why shouldn't I? Todd said. Because it's ridiculous, Billy replied. That's why. I need to scoop. It's late and the sun's almost up. Todd shrugged. Suit yourself. But if you get killed tonight, don't say I didn't warn you. I won't say anything. I'd be dead, Billy called as he started walking. The echoing laughter from the guys made him smile. He hadn't been walking long when he heard something rustling in the dark. He stopped and looked around. The noise also stopped. He cursed his own paranoia and continued. But he couldn't shake that feeling. A moment later, he heard it again. Louder. His fear turned to anger. Who's out there? He roared. Nobody answered. He told himself he was just being stupid and the best thing to do either way was to get home as quickly as possible. He was just about to turn around when something charged him from the shadows. It happened so fast, he had no time to brace himself as the hulking figure hit him like a freight train. The next thing he knew, he was pinned to the ground by a burly man with a look of crazed bloodlust on his face. His eyes burned with fury. Who the hell are you? Billy demanded. Who do you think I am? He said in a low, hoarse voice. And then Billy knew. This was the monster everybody had been whispering about. The vampire problem wasn't just a rumor. The man reached into his tool belt and took out two items that sent a wave of panic through Billy. He squirmed violently, but it was no use. His attacker was too strong. He shoved the wooden stake against Billy's chest and raised his hammer high. Billy screamed in terror and his veins glistened in the moon.